I know there's going to be skeptics that won't believe that fish can't see hooks. Well, let's just take an example, an egg fly. They work. There's a hook there. Some people put a six millimeter egg onto a size two hook and the trout still take them. Now this you could tie with other materials. What I discovered when I came to Alaska in 91, I don't know if it's genetics or just the fact that wild trout have bigger teeth than hatchery trout, which is predominant in most places, but such as braided materials that are out there, you catch about oh six to ten fish and that stuff is just torn up from the teeth. Dolly's even worse. Anyway, what we're going to get into right here is nice simple, that's a size 10 hook. We're going to take the same micro braiding. Get that light up just a little bit where I can see. This will work for your bluegill also. I'm going to use a nice fire orange thread. There's a 280 so it's going to 280 denier. It'll show through just a little bit on this back side. Which I think will help excite them a little bit. Here again with any slick stuff I like just a dab of super glue to help it bind. I've tried an awful lot of times. That's a little bit of coloring I did to it. See how it looked dyed up black. Oh, from that one I did yesterday, a little interesting note I discovered here. You can bend the legs. I forgot this stuff does not have a cord in it like most of it. It's one millimeter. So these here suck up that super glue. These are barely touched and they're still flexible. Sorry about that, you might not have been able to see that. So you can actually bend your legs how you want them. Don't know if that's going to work with a two millimeter. I'm going to have to try it to find out. We're going to get a little tail on this one. Here is a real 1.5 millimeter black bead chain I get. Here again, it's not going to turn the fly over, won't add a whole bunch of weight because that's made on brass. How do I know? I've talked to the people that make them. this with scissors get it all the way up I've got a pair of Thompson's I've used for 20 years cut bigger ones doesn't really affect it how I got into this I was looking at a using this for some small mayflies in some colors and it got me thinking since this is the time of the year here shortly they're going to be hatching ah. pulling it tight you don't want to pull it tight to start on this simple fact I think they look a little more like a fish than flies that are totally straight now 
as you come back up again, pull it tighter and it'll flatten out a little bit. We're going to work around on this head. And yeah, that's going to give it a reddish line right there, which will work perfect for you people like your bluegill. And give it half an illusion that the egg sac is half still being ed up. Like my brain. Because most of this fishing is going to be in half water, fast water. And as all people know, trout hides behind a rock to save energy, pops out. Probably should have a thinner thread, but I don't have any in fire orange thinner. This one I got is just a wing. I mean a fin. If you wanted to tie in for a smolt, you could tie in a little bit of fluorescent orange marabou there. Or some of my orange. nuclear emission wing like I make with eggs. I think that gives it a nice tapered body. So there's another one I did with gray thread. If you want to make a minnow. Didn't build up as much of a body. Just a little bit right there. And that head, wings a little shorter, as you can see compared to the smooth body, gives it a little bit more of a fish shape. And it can go down to about a 12, which is perfect for bluegill, grayling. Like I said, I'll have these in a couple colors. They're drying up now. So, pretty much one material will pretty well do it. Now, another thing on what fish see, if you take a look at a bead head fly, there is not much in nature that looks like a bead head fly. Yet, they sell good and they fish good for the simple fact, fish don't really see the way we see. But fly fisher in the shop does, and he's going to want it looking good. And if you create flies, pretty much you're creating them partly as an artistic means. That old water base is going to take a while to set up. But if you want to see how good it is, I'll scrape some of this off before this. That's on the stainless. And still holding just about as good as lacquer. So, there you go. There's another little trick for y'all who like little flies. Like I said, you can wrap a body there. That's a 16. No, that's a 10 also. Anyway, there you go. Have fun.